Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, and this is my son Ben, and today we are mixing whiskey. Oh yeah, we are mixing whiskey with instant whiskey mixing stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you can't describe it otherwise. But first of all, we have a little specialty. I have visited the distillery, uh, distillery of Teeling in Dublin, the new distillery. And in one video, I think I said it will be three years until we will actually try a Teeling whiskey distilled at the distillery of Teeling. But we're gonna have some today because this year is the spirit of doubling Irish poteen. So it's spirit from this distillery. And here you can read it's batch number one. 50% malted, 50% unmalted barley, um, they're still triple distilled on their pot stills and they have really really yeah flat fat distill distilling pots as it is tradition in in Ireland well, and has been tradition has been tradition mm. yeah now it's more cotton stills and this spirit has 52.5% alcohol by volume and we're gonna have have some so a little bit and a little bit here. That was a really <coughs> gracious hole and a really big cork. I like For the symbol. thirsty Irishman. <laughs> <laughs> I like the symbolism of, of tealing with the, the Phoenix. So this is a raw whiskey, not mm. matured. And uh, <clears throat> so it has an age statement zero years yes. <laughs> <laughs> from uh, from pot stills. So it's not this neutral industrial spirit from column stills with a very high proof. No, mm -hmm. it's less. But I think they added some water down to this yeah, fifty-two point yeah, five. <clears throat> oh, it's a alcohol. A lot it's of alcohol. alcohol. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's. It's raw. It's, it's raw, but you can definitely <clears throat> taste the maltiness. And I'm missing, I'm missing the fruitiness, the typical fruitiness. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit untypical. Mm -hmm. it's not, not the typical spirit. When I had a lot of a new spirit from Heaven Hill and yeah, from the US, but from also the US the, and also the from Isle, uh, from, 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 from Ireland, and they're fruity. It's it's very different. Yeah, very different. Uh, it's it's strangely enough it's it's malty, but it it contains fifty percent grain. So <clears throat> interesting, not yeah. as not as fruity as I was expected. You're fast. Have you diluted it? No, just mm. through the <laughs> <laughs> through the mm. roof of your <laughs> mouth, just into the end. <laughs> When you try spirit, always breathe out when you swallow, so you don't get the, the alcohol burn. Mm. It's a good spirit. It's more of a... It's better with a little water and... Multi-grainy. And um, it covers your mouth and there is some metallic note in it covering mm. a bit of mouth. So this is youthness. Yeah, definitely yeah. youth. Definitely. And it has to stay in in cask at least for five years, four or five years, until this metallic note will pass mm. away. You could use fresh <clears throat> cask, they go a bit faster, but same problem as in the German take, huh? Yeah, no problem. We mm -hmm. we mm -hmm. add, we just add. We just add. So, so we, we guess how much we have in. Yeah, we, we did the measurement in German take. We, we had the dilution of 1 to 1,000 and the dilution of 1 to 100. And it just really didn't work. It just stayed the same. Yeah, and I drink that all. <laughs> <laughs> so I put it back in here. So this is the six centiliters, and I should add one drop of the. Yeah, let me first explain what's written on here. It's a quarter liter of an aging aroma, whatever that means. For liqueurs, it contains 20% alcohol by volume. Mm. 
Nothing. Close to nothing, yeah. A little bit like, like plums. So I should add one drop. One to thousand. This is a small drop. Take two or three. Then you have a, a standard drop. That's it. Mm -hmm. But it still doesn't change <clears throat> anything. Just just have a smell. It's just a, it's just still the normal tealing. Can't suppress the phoenix. So we get just gonna add a few a few more drops then until <laughs> we see that that we have a, I should have brought a normal my, whiskey oh, color. I should have brought my uh, my sugar caramel color for yeah it changed a little bit there we go we haven't added water yet no not nope. yet it reduces the extremely uh, fresh smell. It's you still get definitely a lot of the distillery character from teeling, but it's <clears throat> it's somehow changed. It's a bit muffy old. Yeah, <laughs> but I can't really put my finger on what it is. Mm. Mm. There's something in there. <laughs> there's something in there. It's just. But there's still this metallic note from the yep. raw spirit, and it does not age the whiskey. It, it's not whiskey, it's just. It's just spirit with, with something added. It's yeah. and from at least from the, uh, from the background, it, it just can't work. You know when you have uh, a spirit and you go through maturation, you have additive maturation, you have sub subtractive maturation. The additive maturation is when you have the wood sugars going into the whiskey, like with the Americans when they toast it, they have a lot of caramel uh, of the sugars from the wood going into the whiskey and then you have subtractive maturation where you have the charred barrel and the charcoal filters it out so the this, sharp the faints the sharp faints mm -hmm. and and that's what you have in with the tennessee whiskey with the george dickel and jack daniels they have the lincoln county process that makes it even stronger this subtractive maturation to get a smooth whiskey and this year is no, no smooth enough. No, no, no chance for no, ch no chance for subtractive. So it, it doesn't stand a chance of becoming a whiskey. Yeah. So it's it's just <laughs> for me it's still spirit. Yeah. Even though we added a lot of it. Oh. Mm. Oh. There might be some <clears throat> some I would, oak. I would say a little woody note. Yeah. Yeah. Little wood note. But not, not good enough. Not good enough. So I, I so, take the. I doubt it. You so we have it. this wonderful green bottle from the St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't put it in a normal living bottle. It's just... That would mess up the living bottle. Yeah! Oh, it's getting full. Nearly done. Do the Richard Pedersen. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> so that's clear. you added two, or? two, two, about two, a bit more. Uh, let's change the one. Yeah, we want to be fair to the second one. Uh, <laughs> my hopes are not that high. <laughs> so we should add three because this is a one to hundred solution. Uh, added four, four, but but those are very small drops. Very small drops, but hey, don't don't rate by the color. Just smell. Spirit. Just spirit. No. You need to add a lot more to get. Hmm. What is it? There's something going on there, right? 
Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Very sweet, but but also amaretto, like amaretto, some almonds, and yeah, probably going over to any seed. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. Poo. Hmm. Poo. This stuff is this stuff is hardcore. Yeah, really. <laughs> oh. So I dilute it down to forty, probably. It's like re re fill white wine. Yeah, me too. It smells in a different way. It does, but still not better. <laughs> <laughs> still, it, I still think there's still smells like and you have an added layer there. Yeah. <sighs> it's just a this. Is, This is like a mixture of the worst bourbon I've ever tasted and gummy bears. Mm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nope. Mm -hmm. So we can conclude <laughs> this. Everything is just crap. Mm -hmm. It just added schmutz <laughs> to the whiskey. It's raw. Oh God, the second one was bitter. Yeah. Really bitter. Grauenhaft. Grauenhaft. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's just... Yeah. Well, I like the bitterness in some whiskies when you have a little bitterness, like bittersweet chocolate in the end, but mm -hmm. this one was just... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. But this was, to be fair, this should be added in whiskey liqueur, so you sh should have a lot of sugar in it, so that there is a counterpart yeah. of this bitterness and spiciness to... Yeah. To. Maybe this is just stuff for the people who want the fake whiskey. Uh, typically, if you would like to have fake whiskey, you, you, you add just wooden chips. Wooden chips, yeah, yeah, wooden chips, or you just add color. But color, wooden chips, heating up, heating down, microwave maturation, mm. and you're getting a, a much better stuff than this one. Yeah. So this is directly from the chemistry. Mm. Yeah. It's just, <laughs> wow. The second one was so horrible. Yeah. I still faced it. It's okay. <laughs> so. Mm. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. <laughs> Stay tuned. There's more to come and hopefully real whiskey and not these uh, weird additives. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Mm.